Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is Mod Wednesday. Well, today's mod is a uh, new fusion reactor system. Uh, DHI Systems Fusion Reaction Systems. It's by Daniel Nero Drake, and there's three blocks involved, or three new blocks. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty large. So uh, we'll start with this one over here. This is the fusion reactor. As you can see, it does take quite a bit of resources. Uh, over two, or 2,000 steel plates and 2,000 uh, reactor components uh, and 500 superconductors. So these are fairly resource heavy uh, components. The nice thing about it is, though, they, uh, come on, what did I do here? Let's go here. All right, let's try this again. Uh, there we go. So, as you can see, it's got the animation in it. If we come over here, we can look at the stats, and you see the stats over here. It's got a max output of 750 megawatts, which is much larger, or about almost twice the size of the normal large reactors, the nuclear reactors that require uranium. This runs on hydrogen, so you don't have to worry about finding uranium. You would be able to build these and have uh, hydrogen output, which uh, you can get from ice or anywhere like that. You'd have to set up a hydrogen facility. Uh, this one is the massive fusion reactor and as you can see it takes over 10,000 steel plates so if you've got an extremely large base that you need to power up then this might be a nice alternative to that uh, it also takes 5,000 reactor components so you can see plus 2,000 superconductor which I know uh, requires gold so again those could be some uh, items that uh, would uh, uh, that you need to think about when you're going to build these. Uh, again, it's got the animation in it. You can see that right there uh, going around. Uh, it's a nice. These are very nice looking models. Uh, this is on the back side, so I think you have a lot of ports that you can send your uh, hydrogen through to these reactors. And if you take a look at the difference, uh, this is a normal vanilla large block reactor. You can see it takes only a thousand steel plates. Uh, it does take two thousand reactor components, and a, but only a hundred superconductors. So there's a bit of a difference in that, but you also need uranium to power these things. Uh, this is the large warfare reactor, which is the same uh, recipe, same specs as the large vanilla reactor. Now, the fusion reactor also comes in small block. Uh, as you can see over here, I set this up. And here it is right here. The components are certainly much less. Uh, if you build up a setup like this, where you put a rotor in and you build you a small block subgrid, then you're going to be able to power uh, using this reactor as well on a small grid or in a uh, vehicle or spaceship. Uh, if we look at the uh, fusion reactor, you can see it's 25 megawatts, which still is a fairly substantial amount of output, which could be something you might want to consider using in your game and in your base builds. It also, he also has created for uh, space travel, if you need to produce hydrogen, he has a hydrogen collector, uh, which is a basically a bioengineered uh, bionic block or uh, botanic block uh, for large grid uh, so that it can slowly replenish hydrogen of ships when you're in space. So 
uh, that kind of gives you some options there. So that's it for this week. DHI Systems, Fusion Reaction Systems. Uh, check it out on the workshop. I got the link in the description down below. And uh, see what you think of them. Uh, could be a useful, uh, again, if you have a very large base. All right. If you like this video, please uh, hit that thumbs up on it. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.